Hi, this is Dennis. Uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you the basic interface of uh, Coreplay and uh, uh, we will create a small route at the end of this uh, tutorial as well uh, just to let me show the transfer mode um, to drive in. Um, I have already made this video once but uh, since uh, Coreplay uh, version 3.4 came out uh, I think it was proper to for me to make a new tutorial about this because there's uh, a lot of new stuff in uh, cosplay 3.4 uh, and I'll explain it as we go uh, with the tutorial here so right click first to open up the, the cosplay and this is the basic hot that you'll get when you open cosplay um, you have some special tabs over here, up here, uh, while you're able to switch to another tab. Um, some of the tutorials I've already recorded uh, before uh, are recorded with an older version of Cosplay, and it doesn't have uh, this section up here. Um, so that was done with the errors down at. The down here instead. So just uh, remember when you're seeing the other tutorials as well, uh, this one might not be there. Um, you see some of the tabs over here are grayed out. Uh, that's because when you're uh, in the type here down here, uh, you have a lot of types you can uh, drive at. Uh, it's actually type is ex actually driving modes. Um, and uh, not all the driving modes give access to everything up here. So if uh, you can't uh, get into one of these tabs, uh, then it means that you don't. Uh, well, you're not in the right uh, uh, driving mode. Uh, so to actually to gain con gain, well, for me to actually show all uh, the tabs up here. I need to go inside this tab over here. That's the manager courses. Uh, manager courses uh, is where uh, all your saved routes uh, are stored. You're able to load them from here. Um, there are two load buttons here, but we'll only uh, concentrate on this one. This one uh, at the start. Um, I'll explain uh, them both uh, a little bit better in another tutorial. Well, we're going to uh, talk about crossroads and combining routes, um, and then we have uh, the delete uh, bucket over here, where we can delete and save it route. So the only one we need to to, to use are this uh, folder here to load and and route. Uh, I'll just load one just to be able to show you the, some of the tabs over here. So. Now we have this one over here because we have loaded a route. Um, in the older version, uh, I told you before that uh, is on uh, some of the tutorials I'm showing uh, later on. Um, this box over here is not there, um, so you have to change the mode uh, with this button instead. Uh, and you'll see down here the modes, uh, but with the new uh, 3.4. A version of cosplay, you are able to quick select uh, what mode you want to go to uh, as well. And if you noticed, as I'm going around in this, uh, some of them uh, tabs over here is highlighted. Um, and I want to point one thing out right now. Uh, I think it's in tutorial eight, uh, where we are going into uh, generating a, a field route. Um, for me to show, well, for you to find the right the tab uh, uh, for cost generating, is that uh, tab over here that's grayed out. So if you can't find uh, it when I'm showing it on the tool, just go in, uh, create fast temporary route or load an existing one if you have. And go inside either fertilize and seeding mode or field work uh, mode uh, to get this uh, tab over here. Uh, is cost generating. 
and uh, when I drive it, uh, after I've generated the route, you can go over to the transfer mode, uh, as I'm using in the in tutorial 8 to show. Anyway, that's just something I had to, to tell, because all, all, otherwise I have to re-record on the route. Uh, so just be, have that in mind, that you might need to be in a specific um, mode for going in and see some of the stuff I'm doing on uh, the older uh, version of Cosplay. So this is basically the, the starting uh, uh, site when you open up Cosplay. I'll reset the route again just to for for quick reference. Um, when you know route is uh, record recorded, you have the start route uh, course recording. Um, uh, use that one to start recording a route. When you click it to start a route, you'll see the mark up here. Uh, you'll get another another possible uh, for the route. Uh, you can stop the route uh, again. Uh, and uh, with this button and um, setting a waiting point, and I'll explain uh, about that a little later. Um, you can pause the court re uh, recording. So if you had to make a smaller change that you misdrive something, you can pause it. You could delete some uh, waypoints. Uh, you can set some crossings uh, that will go. I'll go more into depth with uh, uh, when we are going to. Uh, talk about uh, crossroads and combining routes in a later tool as well. And um, the direction here uh, is actually you can change what the direction you are you're going um, uh, when you are recording. So, for example, if we take this uh, pause course recording. Oh, wait a minute, I have to do something small fast here. Just to show all the types, well, all the functions in it. Just up here, a pause court recording. Um, the errors is a little bit in the way, but it indicates that that's, uh, that's uh, the point to where the last uh, waypoint is. Uh, but you are able to delete uh, some waypoints from that point and you can continue or you can stop the course recording. Um, that's just to show. Uh, I'll explain it later in, in the tips and tricks tutorial I'm, I have already done. Um, so I'll just let me see here, I'll just stop course recording and reset it. So that's the first uh, tab. Uh, that's the around. Uh, yeah, that should be around it. Uh, it's also used for starting the route uh, when you already have recorded route. Uh, for example, let me load this one. You can drive the route now, uh, and you could change the mode with this one uh, as you could in the older versions. Uh, and you can use this one to change the mode as well. Um, the start course set uh, you can uh, change if you want it to start at the nearest waypoint uh, you you are at, or at the first waypoint. Um, either way, what you select here, you still need to use the drive course uh, to to start it up. Then you can reset course. Then you unload the route you have you have loaded, S but it's still in here uh, at the manage courses if you have saved it. Uh, just load it again. So let's say we just have recorded a route. Then uh, you can actually save it by using uh, the save uh, disk down here. Um, so when you click it, course name will come up here, and you can. Uh, type something uh, and press enter. And then we go into manage courses and it's down here. I'll just delete it because we don't need it right now. Uh, reset course and load this one again. Um, 
As I said before, the type is the driving mode. Uh, right now it's in dry driving hail bound mode. Um, you can see cur a course down here. That's uh, the name of the course we have loaded. Uh, uh, when you just made a course, uh, no name will uh, be down here. Uh, but it will change as soon as you save it. Then there's waypoint. Here you can see uh, that how long um, that route are you you have recorded or loaded. For example, this uh, Dumbbell Farm route uh, it have 64 waypoints, and uh, right now it's set to go to uh, waypoint one out of 64. But that one will change if this one is uh, set to the nearest waypoint and you are close to another waypoint uh, than the, the starting waypoint. So if you actually change that to the first waypoint, it will start at waypoint 1 and continue from there. Um, you have waiting points, indicates how many waiting points you have in your route. Uh, crossing points, it indicates how many crossing points you have in a route. Uh, crossing points is also crossroads. Um, when you are recording a route, just a quick one here. Then the start mark and the uh, stop mark are crossings. Well, it's only indicating one right here. It's just because I'm too too close for it. It's too. It's not very long this route, and it's not a, actually a valid route, so that's why there's only one crossing. And normally there will be standing two here because the starting point is a crossing and the stopping point is a crossing. So that's just to point it out. Reset the route. Load this one again. So then we'll go into. Manage courses, yeah, I already gone through that one. Um, settings for combine mode. Well, since we are in driving helper, uh, you are able to use these settings. Even that it says settings for combine modes, it's actually settings uh, for for other uh, modes as well, uh, because uh, you are able to use uh, the driving helper uh, to go and unload and silo and. Uh, dump it at a selling point, uh, for example, and um, you have the drive on at uh, percentage down here, uh, you can set uh, how full uh, the the trailer needs to be before it, it can continue on its route. Um, so that's why it's sometimes uh, activate, active on other tabs as well, or on all other modes as well. But um, let me just go over this one really quickly. Side offset, um, that's the offset from uh, a combine you're driving beside to unload, uh, to unload yeah. Um, the distance from there and to, to where this tractor is, um, that's the offset. Right now it's set to automatically because um, Cosplay actually tries to figure out how far you need to be away from the combine. Uh, actually to unload into a trailer, for example, uh, from the combine. You can, if it doesn't uh, work co as it as it's supposed to, it might be uh, you get into a traffic uh, a collision, uh, a conflict, then you can change it a little bit more. Uh, so it's going to manual and change that. Um, but I'll explain that a little bit later as well, uh, in another tutorial. The pipe offset, um, when you look at from this side, let's say there's a combine over here and the pipe is here. Um, if this uh, traction trailer uh, is, uh, yeah, present there is a trailer here, if the trailer is not centered uh, on, the, on the pipe, you could uh, add it a little bit more so it so it will figure out where to uh, unload in the middle of the trailer. But as you can see, it's also on auto uh, because it's, it should automatically find the position to unload at. Uh, the turning circle, uh, well, that's how how steep a turn uh, you take when you are driving in the field. 
so but that's normally automatic as well it it figure out uh, the turning circles depending on the tractors uh, how how steep a turn you can take um, start and percentage well uh, what it does is when a combine uh, is uh, harvesting uh, this tractor would, will check the combine to see how full it is and if it, the combines get 50% uh, full it will uh, start uh, drive up to the combine and unload it uh, while the combine is still in, at, uh, in motion um, in some sometimes you will notice that uh, even that uh, this one is set to 50% uh, and the combine is more than 50% full it will still stand here and wait uh, for it to, to unload um, it's because of let me just quickly jump over to this tab oh uh, this one yeah the settings there is a settings called path finding that one is turned on um, it uh, just means that when the pipe of the combine is over uh, the, the grain um, this tractor will not go uh, in and unloading so it have to drive over the grain it's just therefore more realistic touch uh, to it so it would if it were turned on turned off then uh, it would it would just drive in inside the grain and and unload the combine no matter what uh, one exception is uh, when you in path uh, finding mode is on is that if you it have more than 50% uh, full and the combine uh, pipe is over the um, uh, yeah, the, the not cut uh, harvested grain, and it reaches 100% full. This tractor will go and unload uh, the combine no matter what. Just to point that out. I think I yeah I told how the drive on has worked. So that's that tab. Uh, then we have this tab. Yeah, to show that tab, I need to go to combine mode. So manage combine. Uh, here you are able to select uh, uh, a combine uh, that it should. Uh, this one should uh, support. Um, I will explain a little bit later uh, how how it works in uh, the next tutorial. I think it must. Um, and how the the automatic search stuff uh, functions as well. Well, I'm telling it in in tutorial three, uh, the combine mode, that the automatic search doesn't really work, uh, but uh, it does, and I'll show in tutorial four why it actually does uh, work. Because I made some errors um, when I recorded those. Anyway, um, that was a uh, fast one for the com management combine. Then we have speed limits. Um, speed limits are the speeds you, it needs to go at when uh, when doing some work. Uh, for example, that when it's uh, turning uh, in sharp turns, it should go down to around six miles per hour. Uh, you can change that uh, by the plus and minus over here. Um, the field speed is if you're doing field work um, then it, that's uh, the speed you will use when it's driving inside the field uh, street speed that's when uh, it's driving on the streets uh, for example from a field to uh, to unload at the uh, silos and then drive back to the field again then that's the speed it will um, it will go to um, unload BGA that's uh, the the pins uh, where you are able to um, uh, dump shaft into the facility. So when you are driving an uh, forest wagon and you're driving over uh, uh, that bin, it's uh, in in a specific mode. You it will go down to three miles uh, per minute, well per hours, sorry, um, and follow that until it's empty and uh, continue again now the speed here 
Uh, right now it's set to maximum speed. Uh, normally when you buy a new tractor uh, or other vehicles, this one is set to from recording. Uh, what it means from recording is that when you record a route, uh, those speeds you're, uh, you're driving when you are uh, recording, those are recorded as well. So if it's set to recording, then it will drive at those speeds uh, as you recorded it with license and uses those as speed reference. reference. Um, if you don't care and you just want to make it go with, uh, as fast as possible, then you need to change it to the max maximum speed and then it uses uh, the street speed over here. And you will see also see when changing this, it's going to automatically from course. Uh, the next tab, settings, pathfinding, I just uh, explained that uh, a little bit before. Uh, open uh, course play, that's uh, how you open uh, this hot uh, right now set to uh, right uh, mouse button. Uh, if you change it to left plus the delete, that means that if you either use left control or left alt plus the delete button, then you'll able to open this uh, hot. You just close, press alt and delete. Uh, okay, that didn't work. Then control and delete. That will open it. And somehow the alt didn't work. So at least control, uh, left control, plus, del plus delete worked. Change it back because I like using the right mouse button for, for this. Plus I'm able to, uh, outside here, right click and then I can uh, turn around while I'm still having the, the hot over here open and then right click to get the, the cursor back again. Um, show waypoints. Uh, I'll explain that in uh, tips and tricks to tool as well uh, later on. Uh, the beacon lights uh, right now are uh, set to only on roads. It means that when you are on the road on transfer, uh, transfer uh, routes, it will turn on the beacon lights. As soon as it comes to a, a field and it's going to into field work, it will turn off the beacon light. You can also set it to always turned on, so wh no matter what you're doing, the beacon, li beacon light will be turned on, or you could turn it, uh, turn it off, so it will never turn on when you're driving. Um, the debug level, uh, it's mostly used uh, if you're helping the, the developers uh, uh, getting some extra infos uh, when trying to sort out a uh, box that might be in uh, cosplay. Um, so, I'm really not going to, to show you how it's working because there's no need for it. If you need to know how to use it, then uh, I'll probably think that the developer will tell you which uh, debugging label you should use and what lock, uh, well, send the lock to them with the de debug label so they can see what's, uh, what's the causing the problem. So, that's about this on this page. Um, driving settings, the waiting time. So, if you're recording a route uh, and you have set a waiting point, um, you're able to just say to it that when you drive, uh, well, when this tractor is coming to that uh, waiting position, uh, it needs to stop and wait there. Right now, it's set to zero seconds, and zero seconds actually means that it will wait there infinitely. I'll be showing it there in a minute uh, anyway. Um, the horizontal offset, that's um, when you're driving a route, that uh, the waypoints you're driving at are centered on the structure. Uh, if you're using an implement uh, or trailer like uh, the bay loader, you, you will remember that uh, the bay loader, uh, when that one is picking up the bales, it's done it from the side over here. So the horizontal offset actually allows you to uh, set uh, this tractor to set it to a uh, half meter here then the tractor here will go a half meter this way from the center line and uh, follow the route uh, in that position uh, so if you actually had to use the, the bail loader then you'll be going in the opposite direction because you need the bay loader to be 
in the center line of the co course and then you will have to move the tractor this way reset this okay uh, the vertical offset that's uh, when it's following the a route you can say, uh, tell it to go ahead and take some of the waypoints ahead of it uh, so it's going a little bit further before uh, it turns or turn yeah well before it turns uh, like in a field end of a field and turn around you can set it to turn before it ends the field by setting this up a little bit and if I want to make it turns a little bit later uh, you can uh, set it to to minus I'm not really going to uh, explain uh, that much about it uh, I have never really used it um, and I don't have any tools that are going to be shown uh, how it's working um, a new thing in uh, Cosplay 3.4 as well is that you are able to copy a route uh, course here. Um, I'm not sure if no 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 other tractors uh, have a route. Just jump over in uh, the shoulder here. Uh, shoulder, I think as it is shoulder. A slutter, it's called. Ah, I can't. I'm not totally sure how how it's pronounced. Anyway. Uh, um there's just fast load uh this markers here now this one has have uh, some markers loaded let's go back to uh, this one then I should be able to yeah now I can select uh the other tractor with the uh, with uh course loaded um then I'm able to actually able to click this button here. And now this tractor has the same route as uh, the other tractor had before. Um, it's mostly done uh, when you are combining some routes uh, and you don't have it saved. Uh, then you can use this function to quick, quickly load from another tractor. Um, so then we have this tab over here, and those two they are grayed out right now. So. I'll be going into fertilizing mode. Uh, the modes I'll be explaining in all the tools, so um, I will not go into those. Um, here's the course generation. Generation. I will uh, explain that in uh, tutorial eight as well. Um, one thing that's not uh, shown in tutorial eight is uh, the headland. Um, so I'll explain it fast here. Headlands means that when you're generating a route, you are able to uh, set it to drive around the field uh, before it's going in and going up and down in a, uh, a field uh, a route you're generated. You can either set it to uh, one lane before it's going into uh, the up and down route or one lane after. Uh, it it have gone up and down in a route, and then it will drive around uh, the field. Um, I'll show it in uh, I think it's tutorial eighteen, and uh, I'll there I'll show how the headline is working. Um, but all this uh, about working with the starting corner, uh, starting direction, and all stuff of this I'll be explaining in. Uh, tutorial 8 as well um, a new mode that is uh, fill an empty shovel mode uh, that's I'll show in tutorial 19 how that one is working so all this stuff here I'll be explaining that in tutorial 19 as well uh, this one I'll not be able to uh, go into with a tractor so I'll actually have to go all into a combine because this one is only for combine this combine control um, here uh, when you are for example manually controlling this combine in a field you can request a driver um, that means that if you have a tractor and trailer in combine mode 
uh, that is supporting this uh, combine here, you will uh, you will be able to uh, call it so it will come up besides the non load from uh, from the combine here. Um, there are some more controls, um, so but I think I explain those in uh, in another tutorial as well. So I think I have been over most of all these parts in this one in the hot here. So why don't we make a route from start to finish now? So I'll reset this one. First, I want to show you a fast, uh, quick route while explaining uh, the waiting at well the waiting positions. So I'll just start here and start course reporting. Here's a rule: uh, when you're driving, you'll notice there's coming an egg here. Uh, that's egg number one, and then we have an egg two that's coming in a minute. There, those two eggs. I will. Uh, I call it the two x rule. Um, the two x rule just means that you uh, you should uh, normally drive straight until the two x first is shown, uh, because this is where the point one and two, three, and four, or maybe it's actually three and it's the uh, waypoint four is shown down here. It's actually the one we're going to put put, put down here. Yeah. Anyway. You need to let those two X show before you make any sharp turns. Um, if you do it uh, between those two, then you'll actually have a straight line from uh, from uh, the start point to this one. And if you have already turned here, then uh, this one could be placed over here. So you have to sharp turn from here into there. So that's why we always try to drive straight. Uh, there are some modes where uh, we are skipping the the two x rules because they are handled a little bit uh, different. For example, in in the fill and empty shovel mode, uh, then you can forget everything about the first two waypoints uh, that don't account uh, on that one. But I'll show that in tutorial 18. Anyway, we have uh, put the first two x here. Uh, so we are clear and we can drive as much as we want uh, in any direction we want. So around here I was setting a waiting point. Uh, this means that uh, when you're coming to this point in uh, transfer mode, as we I'm going to show you, then it will stop at that point uh, and wait there until uh, you you say go into it and manually say, say to it, it can continue. Um, so just let me finish this route and drive back to the starting point. Around here I'll stop course recording. Actually I think uh, the two X rules I told you before, I have, I'm explaining that in a tips and tricks tutorial as well. But I'm explaining it now as well, just to, to be sure you 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 know about it. Um, I've stop, stopped stopped uh, the course recording, so we can go into transfer mode. Um, so if you drive it now uh, with the drive course, I'll jump out of it. It should start drive and go over to the waiting point. That's over here, uh, someplace. Going slowly to the waiting point, and it has reached the waiting point. Uh, no, it has. What the hell is this? Uh, hmm. Just try one more time. I've never seen it done that before. So I'll just try driving it once more time and see if it actually will stop in the right place. It 
Data. Hmm. I will just start driving and reset course and I'll try to re-record this route. Something is not as it should be. Start course recording. One, two eggs. And go around. Sitting waiting point. Stop here. And try to drive the route again. Mm, yeah, it's already set to maximum speed. Yeah, this time it stopped at the right place. Uh, don't know why they did it, but uh, anyway, <laughs> it's working now. Um, as I said before, in let's see this tip, yeah, wasting time. And right now it's set to uh, zero seconds, so it will wait here infinitely. It if it was set to five seconds, then it will drive up, stop here, wait five seconds, and drive on. And it's driving on now because it starts counting from zero when we change this one. So I'll set it back to zero again and it should be waiting up there and finish it again. And there's one thing I want to show as well when we get to the waiting point once more. When we are inside the course play uh, control, you see uh, down here you have continue. And that one is only shown when it's waiting at, uh, at some point. Uh, so if you push the continue, then it will continue from that point. That's just to point out that it have one called that as well when you are at the waiting point. Um, I'll stop the driving here. I'll reset the course. Um, I know we haven't done uh, actually a really rude uh, yet because I just want to show how uh, the uh, transfer mode is working with uh, a waiting point. So what can we actually use the transfer mode to? to? Well, as, it, uh, as the name of the mode is called transfer, it actually means that you are able to um, make a route from here uh, up to uh, your cow zone, your sheep zone, uh, whatever you want to go to, setting a waiting point up there uh, and then drive back down here, setting a new waiting point and close the route. So you are able to uh, use that route to transfer tractors, all of vehicles, implements um, from point A to point B. Uh, and it. Uh, while you do something else. Uh, I'm not going to uh, generate a route from down here up to the cow zone. Uh, it will take too long. Uh, but I will do from here and down to the shop where we have um, where we get all the new stuff uh, when we buy it. I know there is a quick way to get it all up here uh, but I'm doing it uh, just to show how the transfer uh, mode is uh, used when it's when you do do it, uh, yeah. Sorry, um, I'm going to show you how how it's how it's done uh, this way. Um, the quick 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 way to do uh, the stuff, as I told before, is uh, pressing escape, going into vehicle selection, uh, use this uh, reset uh, next select vehicle two, and then you're able to click on it, and it will. Uh, drop it up here at the farm, uh, but we don't want to do that. So I will just start course recording here. I will be turning a little bit here, uh, even that the two egg rules uh, wasn't applied. But um, I wasn't sure if this one would be come here or it would come over here. So I had to try, uh, turn a little bit. But anyway. It's okay. 
So I'll be driving down to uh, the shop and fa fast forward this. Okay, so we're down here at the shop. So around here I will be setting my first waiting point. Uh, this just indicates that uh, all tractors are sent back uh, down here. We'll wait here until further instructions. Then I will drive around this area here. Go over here and I'll drive back to the farm again and also fast forwarding this. And we're back here at the farm. Then I'll just find a nice and clear spot here where normally nothing will be. And here I'll set a new waiting point. So when I'm transporting stuff down from the, the shop, it'll drive up here and wait here for further instructions as well. Then I'll continue the route and stop at start point over here. Uh, stop course recording. Um, then I'll save it. Uh, call it shop run. Um, we are all set, already set to transfer mode, so we can just drive the route now. Um, so while this one is driving down to the shop, I'll fast forward again. So we're down at the shop, uh, and we should stop here, yeah. So, now it's waiting here, I'm actually able to stop driving. Then I can go pick up some of the implements over here. And I will take up this cultivator. And then when this one is set to the nearest waypoint, I should be able to go around here and drive course again. Then it will continue the route it was on until it get back to the farm and to that waypoint well waiting point there uh, and wait there until uh, you make a new uh, command for it so I can actually jump out here and let this one drive back to the farm then I can jump into the new tractor uh, I bought So this tractor I just can go inside here and load the shop run now um, and set it to transfer mode. Uh, then this one is actually able to help uh, take some of this stuff back to the farm as well. Um, I'll see here, yeah, as I told before, the speed down here is uh, by default set to from recording, but I'll set it to maximum because I don't want to slow down some some place. So just start it up. Go take some of the old stuff here. And go a little bit forward. And we should be able to drive course. Yeah, and it's driving now. As you see down here, um, it tells me uh, the other tractor is actually reached that waypoint uh, up at the farm so it's ready for a new command so we can go up to that one now then we can start drive go find a spot for this uh, cultivator just let me drop it over here and then I can click drive course again so it's still at the waiting point because it didn't drive uh, over here so we just press the continue to continue on the route so this one will drive back to the shop again while this one is almost up here Then we can place this one uh, someplace and send that one back to the shop again. And then you can continue this pro process uh, over again. 
Um, so that's uh, it's about what I have to planned for this tutorial uh, about first explaining uh, the hot and show how the transfer uh, mode is working. Uh, well, it's t uh, yeah, it's working. <laughs> um, so I'll be seeing you at the next tutorial. So have fun.